Do you know? Do you know the Pythagoras theorem existed before Pythagoras? I actually heard that, that it, um, but I don't know too much about it. Yeah, seventh grade NCERT Indian book. If you open it, Pythagoras theorem, there is a one single line. Earlier, it was called the Pythagoras Baudhyayana theorem. Baudhyayana is an Indian scientist. Okay. Dirka. Dirka Chaturam. Chaturam means square. No, rectangle. Dirka Chaturasrasya, Chanayarenju, Parshwan Mani, Tirian Mani, Ya Yet Pradhak, Budai, Kuru Tasmai Udayam Karodi. This is what is Baudhyayana's theorem. That so shows if you have got rectangle, Dirka Chaturam. In that base you take, height you take, find the square of it, you will get the hypotenuse. Actually, if I want to get the hypotenuse of my screen, I have to measure the length and breadth and use the formula to get the hypotenuse, right? Yeah. Instead of that, I can straight away measure yeah. it. No. <laughs> is, yeah. it, is it a good example to give? Yeah, that, that's very true. Um, yeah. I think there are definitely better examples. Okay. Again, assume that I have to make a ladder. Why should I measure the height and length? And So, these are all... And the proof what you have given is not a proof. It's only an observation. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Actually, yeah, proof can be, the proof can be you take the right angle triangle and from the right angle you draw to the hypotenuse, you draw a which will be a, a perpendicular bisector actually, which connects to the hypotenuse and then you can see equal triangles there. Use the equal triangle formula for all the two triangles inside the one right angle triangle. That leads to the proof. Actually, the proof what you have given is only an observation. Yeah, yeah. So, it is not a mathematical proof. In mathematics, yeah. we don't use such, that cannot be called as a proof. It is, how do you realize it? Okay, now, tell me why I cannot measure hypotenuse. I can uh, measure the base and height. But then, in all the cases, you use the third, right? Yeah. What is that, sir? I will take a simplest example. Base is 1, height is 1. So, what you get is hypotenuse is two. root 2. Uh, yeah. You tell me which scale you can measure root 2. Is there a scale available yeah, in the think, world? Yeah. yeah. So, hypotenuse is a mathematical concept which cannot be physically measured. The student need not know at the level. This is a syllabus of which grade that students need not know. I am a mathematician. So, when Dr. TPS speaks, I am a mathematician and doctorate is in mathematics. I must realize the third is a generic name and very specifically it becomes, no, it doesn't become a decimal when the number is not in decimal form. What is it called? When it's in third form. If a number cannot be put in a decimal form. Oh, irrational. Yeah. Hypotenuse can be irrational. Okay. Understood. So, third yeah. in a very specific case is called irrational. So, root 2 okay. is an irrational number. So, what is the value yeah. of root 2? Root 2 value is root 2. Okay. Yeah. There is no approximate value I did not ask. I asked the value of root 2. Okay. okay so, yeah. I have no scale to measure root 2. But I can see root 2 physically when I have got, suppose I want to show some uh, irrational number. Pythagoras theorem is the solution to show irrational number to anyone in the world. Are you getting what I am saying? Yeah, yeah. So, the first Pythagoras theorem and irrational number are very, very connected. Yeah. Number system when we learn, if I have to show somebody where is root 2, I must tell it is more than one, more than one. Because hypotenuse is always base and height. The higher number is hypotenuse. Yeah. 
So yeah. it's a number between one and two. Yeah. Where do I show that hypotenuse? Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I should tell that no. It's like a two pi r. Take a one radius and make a two pi r. Similarly, I can show pi. So most of the rational numbers to show, I have to use geometry. So right angle triangle is a form in which I can show irrational number to irrational somebody. Number. And I must yeah. make sure that no, you cannot measure it. Therefore, I have to measure base and height and compute yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. So when I write square root of 35, square root of 36, 36 is simple 6. Yeah. Square root of 35 is six, less than 6. But how much less? Yeah, yeah. That's a very small number, very close to 36. Up to that only I can tell. But it is not 35, I mean 6 point or 5 point 9, 9, 9, yeah. 9, 9. No, it's not. So it is one form of abstract mathematics. Where I can show somebody how much useful is a measurement like this. Where I can use mathematics to define a unmeasurable number. Or non-measurable number. That is the beauty of Pythagoras theorem or that is the beauty of Baudhyayana's theorem. Similarly, Pi was also invented in uh, Kerala. Really? Why not? Ma Madhavan, Sangamagrama Madhavan is the man who defined Pi value. You should love mathematics and you should love India. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sangamagrama Madhavan. And Baudhyayana, I don't know, where is he from? He is from somewhere in the North India. Baudhyayana. So th they are all, they all defined irrational number. That's where the beauty is. They realized there are numbers which cannot be measured. That is how the two pi are. The pi definition came from the circle. When they found a circle, you can measure it, but you cannot make it exact measurement. Suppose you draw a circle with one unit and then spread it out. It's immeasurable. That's, that's a beauty. You cannot put it anywhere and measure it. And one beauty is, I'll tell you the Pythagoras theorem. One, You look at the cobweb. The first one, one triangle and use the hypotenuse. Draw another right angle triangle there. Root 2 becomes the base, root 2 becomes the height. Once you draw like that, automatically you get the cobweb. Beautiful way. You take base 1, height 1, you get root 2, and at the end of root 2, you make another right angle. So, 1, 1, 1, and root 2. And then in one of the end, you draw another root 2 as, use this root 2 as the base and make a height there. Yeah, that is root 2. Connect it. You will see it becomes like a loop. And that's how cobweb is generated. And also one um, uh, small mention could be that what you are learning Pythagoras will if you are going any higher studies in any subject, it will help you throughout life. Okay, because yeah. for trigonometry, Pythagoras is the base. So I am sure tomorrow if they have to go to higher education, it's not just you can finish this and write an exam and get some knowledge about it. right? It's a base for many, many, many mathematical theorems which are going to come in the subsequent life. Yeah. Yeah. If you are going for any education at any level, this will help you. I am sure that grabs attention of children, right? Something which is not a short term benefit, you are going to have a longer benefit, I am sure they will raise their eyes. Yeah, yeah. And applications in the beginning, probably that will help. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. when you are similarly, when you write third number, suppose when you write uh, root 33, better to put it as 5 and root. 5 square is oh, 25 okay. plus, right? So it adds some um, some idea about what this number is. So it is in yeah. between 6 and 7, in between 8 and 9. So it's a higher number than the base and height. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hypotenuse yeah. is always higher than the base and height, right? Yeah. So that idea will come to them. Yeah. And it is not added together also. See, yeah. See, 1 yeah. plus 1 is 2, but root 2 is less than 2, but higher than 1. Yeah, yeah. Similarly, 5 and 3, when you add it becomes 8. But hypotenuse is not 8, it is less than 8. Yeah. But it's a number between these two numbers. Yeah. 